It is Seahawks Today, powered by Chat Sports. Tyler Jones here with you. So glad to have you with us. Coming up on today's show, we will preview the Seahawks matchup against the Arizona Cardinals. Round number two between these two teams. The Seahawks got the better of Arizona earlier this year. Before we get to our official preview, though, if you hate the Arizona Cardinals and want to see a Seahawks victory, if you want to win against a division rival for not the first but the second time this season, like today's video, smash that like button if you hate the Cardinals and want to see the Seahawks win on Sunday. The Seahawks and the Cardinals set to square off this Sunday. The Seahawks with a 5-3 and three record. The Arizona Cardinals with a 3-5 and five record. Arizona finds themselves very desperate at this point in time. You have a Cardinals team whose coach is on the hot seat. They did get DeAndre Hopkins back, and so that was big. And he did not play in the first game between these two teams. And now you have a Seattle Seahawks team who is just red hot, that's playing so well and that they shut down the Cardinals a couple of weeks ago, and they'll look to do the same in this matchup this time around. And you can bet on this game at BetUS with the promo code Seahawks125 and get a 125% deposit bonus. Go to chatsports.com slash bet to place your bets now at chatsports.com slash bet, promo code Seahawks125. Put $100 down to get $125 to spend for free. The odds, the Cardinals slide favorites, one-point favorite that is, the over-under at 50 and a half for this game. What bets are you placing? Who do you got? Type C for the Seahawks. If you're going with the Cardinals, type A or I for Arizona. What's your bet going to be? Is it going to be on Seattle to win and cover, or is it going to be on the Cardinals to win and cover? Let me know what your bet's going to be. Uh, and place your bets now at chatsports.com slash bet. We begin with the players that are questionable on the injury front. Nick Ballore at fullback, recovering from that concussion. Austin Blythe dealing with that knee issue. The good thing for the Seahawks, though, was that when Blythe went down last week, that Fuller stepped in and did a really good job in his absence in that center position. Daryl Taylor with the hip injury, he's still questionable at this point in time. Meanwhile, Penny Hart with a hamstring injury and John Reed with a groin issue. We'll continue to update when we have more information, but as of right now, those five players are questionable. Meanwhile, there's another set of five players that have recently come off injured reserve in the pup list, that being Daryl Johnson, the defensive end with an ankle injury, Alton Robinson with a knee injury, Tyler Ott with a shoulder injury, Trey Brown with a knee injury, and John Radigan with a knee injury. And with these five players, the one in particular that stands out is Trey Brown. And you'd have to think that he's got to be really, really close to returning to the football field with the fact that they moved on from Sidney Jones and released him. They weren't going to release Sidney Jones if Trey Brown wasn't close to being healthy. So something to think about there when it comes to the injury front for the Seattle Seahawks. Now, let's go ahead and get to my keys to a Seahawks victory. What's it going to take for Seattle to beat Arizona the second time around? Well, number one, got to win early on defense. And we've talked a lot about over the last few weeks of Seattle needing to get off to a hot start and how this Seahawks offense scores more on their first half drives than any team in the NFL. But today I want to look at the defense in particular, and here's what I mean by this. The Arizona Cardinals are 11-0 and since 2021 when they lead at the end of the first half. So if I'm the Seahawks, it's not just about the offense doing well, the offense doing its part, but the defense also holding its own and keeping Arizona out of the end zone and making sure Seattle has a halftime lead because history tells us if Arizona leads at half, they win football games. 11-0 since 2021. The defense will need to get off to a good start right away. Number two, time to get out of the friend zone, get into the end zone. Folks, here's what I mean by this. When it comes to red zone offense, this is a, a big one for the Seattle Seahawks. They are 3-0 and this year when converting 55% of their red zone chances into touchdowns. And so what that means, to put it in the simplest of terms here, 
when the Seahawks are in the red zone and they have the opportunity to score a touchdown or a field goal or turn it over, they're getting those touchdowns 55% of the time, and that's resulted in a 3-0 and mark when that occurs. It's an amazing statistic. So if your Seattle continue to, when you get into the bet U.S. red zone, to turn that into six points, to turn that into seven, capitalize on those opportunities. Uh, look, we talk about it when it comes to the postseason, that you don't win playoff games with field goals, you win with touchdowns. Well, in Seattle's case, you don't win games with field goals, you win with touchdowns. Got to continue to own the red zone like they've been able to do. Who's going to have the better game Sunday? Is it going to be Geno Smith or is it going to be little Kyler Murray? Now, the first time these two teams met, Geno Smith had the better day. Will it be Kyler's turn this time around? Let me know in the comments section. Type GS for Geno Smith. Type KM for Kyler Murray. Let me know who's going to have the better game, Geno or Kyler Murray, in the comments section below. Now, although the Seahawks offense has been very dynamic this year, Sunday's game doesn't need to be a shootout. And here's what I mean by that. Arizona is 10-0 and when they score 27 points or more a game. That's fifth best in the NFL in that stretch, and or 10-1. And, and so with that being said, you look at this situation, what did the Seahawks do the first time these two teams played? It's a low-scoring game. They won 19-9. They slowed down Arizona. They did not make this a back-and-forth, no-huddle game between the two. They wore out clock. They played ball control football. And so if I'm the Seahawks, I don't need my defense to be giving up a lot of yards and a lot of points. You need to shorten this game as much as possible and win about that way. That's the best path to beating this Arizona team, quite frankly. Number four, big plays offensively. And here's what I mean by that. Seattle has 29 touchdowns that were 20 yards or more since 2021. That is first in the entire NFL. So, the big playability with this team, Seattle has done a really j- good job of, and they need to continue that big playability. We need to see them make shots, you know, continue to take those shots downfield. And you look at Geno Smith, the statistics for Geno, according to the nerds at Pro Football Focus, Geno's at his best when he's throwing the ball deep. These are the grades that they give out, 1 through 100, of what Geno's done when it comes to his yardage. Passes 20 yards or further, they grade him out at 95.7. That's that's an A grade. Medium, 71.6. That's a C. Short passing, 0, 0 to 9 yards, 80.6. That's a B. And then behind the line of scrimmage, he struggled, 68.3. That's a D that essentially they're giving him there. Geno is at his best according to the analytic nerds, when he throws the football down the field. So not only do you have a Seahawks team that is extremely effective when it comes to big plays, and we know Chicks dig the long ball. So I would say this, Gino, get the ball downfield, go for the big plays, and the results speak for themselves. Are you rooting for the Seahawks on Sunday? I know you are. Let's, let's show some love for your Seahawks and take a shot at the opponent here. If you're rooting for the Seahawks, spam F-A-Z in the chat. Let's get it. Let's get loud loud, as if we're already in Glendale. Get the pep rally started for your Seattle Seahawks. You want to see a Seahawks win if you're rooting for your team, spam F-A-Z in the chat. Make sure to subscribe to Seahawks today. We have the latest Seattle Seahawks news, rumors, watch parties, live shows, and more each and every day on the channel, youtube.com slash Seahawks TV. We're going to do another watch party coming up this Sunday for the Seahawks and Cardinals game. We'll get started about 30 minutes before kickoff. We'll react to the game in real time. We'll do our live post-game show as well. We'll get started about 3.30 Eastern, 12.30 Pacific for our live coverage. So go ahead and subscribe now, youtube.com slash Seahawks TV, so you can be here Right in time for kickoff for the Seahawks and Cardinals. It's going to be a great time. We'll have a few drinks or two and enjoy ourselves. You won't want to miss out on it. Coming up Sunday afternoon right here on Seahawks Today. Last one on my keys to victory for Seattle is feeding Kenneth Walker. 
And look, we've seen Kenneth Walker has been outstanding. He's one of the candidates for Offensive Rookie of the Year. And the last four games since he's taken over as the featured back for the Seattle Seahawks, he has been just incredible. 400 yards, five touchdowns in that stretch. And last time against Arizona, you can see he had a really good outing. 21 carries, 97 yards, and one touchdown. When we talk about Seattle playing ball control football, when we mention that they need to establish the run and not be in a hurry not to make this a shootout, it starts with the run game and making sure that Kenneth Walker gets the touches that he needs and he deserves. If he gets those touches and takes that next step, does what he needs to do, that's a Seahawks win right there. So with that, if the Seahawks do everything that I've told them to do, I think they'll win. And for me, I'd like the Seahawks to win for the second time this year against Arizona. They get their fourth straight victory. I'll take the Seahawks 22-13 to get it done on the road and win their fourth straight game. Now you tell me. We asked you earlier who you liked between those two teams. Now predict the score. My official pick, Seattle 20-13. to What say you in the comments section below? Predict the score for Sunday's game for me between your Seattle Seahawks and the Arizona Cardinals.